Hey guys, Bethany here with the next chapter, and today I am doing the X Lurker tag. So I was tagged by Gina Stanier over at Gina Stanier Books, and you should definitely go check her out. I will link her channel down below. She's really fun to watch. She's I just love watching her because she's so zen and peaceful, and she just has all these great thoughts on books and she reads a really interesting variety so you should definitely go check out her channel. All right so the first question is on this tag what has been stopping or is stopping you from leaving comments or starting a booktube channel and in this case that question doesn't really apply to me I have no problem leaving people comments I love to interact with other booktubers and let them know you know what I'm thinking about the things they're reading and their suggestions and things and obviously I didn't have a problem starting a booktube channel I just decided one day I think I'm gonna try it and so I did the next question is if you've already left a bunch of comments under people's videos, do you remember the very first comments that you left and did you get a reply? So I have no idea what the first comment I left is, but I am very confident that I got a reply. And the reason why is it has been my observation that booktubers, it's, it's a community. It's not just putting out content out to the world. It's putting out content to friends. And so in the comments, there's always those replies and interactions. And so I have no doubt that whatever comment that I left, it definitely got a response because that's just how the booktube community is. And I do always try to leave thoughtful comments on people's videos. Um, I, I like to let them know, you know, maybe what I liked about the video or if I have read a book that they are talking about and what I thought of it, or if they're talking about a book that interests me, letting them know that that was a book that interested me and that I'm adding it to my list, you know, and just, you know, interacting and being thoughtful and purposeful with those comments. The next question is, Pick a book which you've read because of a booktuber's review, and it has to stand out as one being that you either loved or hated with a passion. So I don't know necessarily if it stands out as loved or hated, but it stands out to me because it's in a genre that I don't normally read, and that is Sleeping Giants, and I just recently finished this, and I have seen it all over booktube, lots of people talking about it, but it's science fiction, which is not my usual genre. I My number one love is historical fiction, but I do like to dabble in other things from time to time, and I've seen this so many times, uh, you know, around the place, and heard some little synopses that I thought, I'm gonna give this one a try, and I'm really glad that I did because I really enjoyed it. In fact, I enjoyed it so much that I instantly checked out the next two books on the trilogy and finished those right away too. So yeah, Sleeping Giants. Then the next question is, tell us a bit about the book you're currently reading. Is it any good? And could you read a passage from it which you loved or found ridiculous? So I'm not actually reading a book right now. I know. I finished a book yesterday and I haven't had a chance to pick up a new book yet. I probably won't today. I'm probably going to start a new book tomorrow, but I don't even know which one that's going to be because I need to see what my holds have been that have come in um, at the library. So I don't know what I'm going to read next, but the one I just finished is One of Us is Lying and I really, really liked it. Again, it was a recommendation from uh, Booktube and it was super fun. I don't really have any um, quotes or anything to read from it, number one, because I listened to it on audiobook and definitely recommend it on audiobook with lots of narrators. They, they did a really good job with that. But um, it also was more of a light, fun read. It wasn't something that when I hear a quote, I, you know, go, oh my gosh, that's really, you know, it hits me in some way or the other and write it down. It wasn't that type of book. It was just good, fun, and enjoyable reading. So yeah, go read that one. And then the final question is, do you keep a reading journal? And I'm going to say no, because I know, I think I know what this question means. It's talking about, you know, people who have really cool books and they write down all their thoughts as they read and they, they, um, you know, color code different things about them and they can go back in their journals and see what they thought of different books. And I don't do that. What I do is I um, keep track of my reading on Goodreads. And so I, 
you know, I mark off when I've read something and it helps keep track of my reading goals for the year. And, you know, occasionally I'll leave a written review or at minimum I always, you know, give some stars on books. But I don't keep that other type of journal. So yeah. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. And thanks again, Gina. And again, go check out her channel. I'll link it down below. And as always, don't forget to subscribe so that you don't miss what's happening in the next chapter. Thanks for watching.